The number one thing I wish someone told me when I started intermittent fasting, right now. This is us, this is us. <laughs> Family, fitness, fun. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm Curran Blevins. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you smash the subscribe button down below right now as I release a brand new video every single Sunday. One thing I talk about a lot on the channel is intermittent fasting and how it helped me lose 85 pounds in eight months. Look at the photo right here. I absolutely love intermittent fasting. I think hands down it is one of the most amazing diet tools that you can use or have in your arsenal to allow you flexibility when dieting. That's the key here. Intermittent fasting is for flexibility when dieting. No longer are you a slave to eat six, seven, eight meals a day and you're able to eat whatever you want within reason. Now, with that being said, we're starting to get into the issue or the topic at hand. If this is the first video you've ever watched of mine, I'm black and white, no bullshit, and here to give you exactly what you need to hear. So if you're not sure what intermittent fasting is, click up here and watch the other videos I've posted for quick start guides and that further explain how to intermittent fast and some of the mistakes you'll probably wonder or make the first couple weeks you're fasting because you did not educate yourself properly. The number one thing that I wish someone told me before I started intermittent fasting is, you need to be careful and watch your willpower. I believe that the number one thing you have to know when intermittent fasting is that you need to have a positive mentality towards your food and the relationship you have with food. The better relationship you have with food, the better off you're going to be, the better results you will have, and the better your life will be overall when creating this healthy lifestyle. The first thing you gotta understand is that there's two different kind of people who intermittent fast. The first person is the person who thinks that just because they're skipping a meal or restricting their eating window, that they can eat whenever they want. And that could not be further from the truth. The second person is the person who takes the opposite extreme to that. They think that even when they're in their restricted feeding window, that they need to further restrict their calories. For the people who restrict their feeding window, they're intermittent fasting, but then they'll go eat absolute garbage during their feeding window, you cannot expect to have a healthy relationship with food whatsoever. That is something I preach so hard to any online clients, anybody who hits me up asking questions, and something I struggle with daily. Daily. In intermittent fasting, if you fast long enough, you can push all of your calories to one meal. And depending on how many calories and your macros for that day, that's a lot of food. So now, taking it to the other person, there's the person who restricts their eating window, and even when they break their fast, they still constrict their calories to an unhealthy amount. And if you have an unhealthy relationship with food, if you are drained mentally, you're not going to stick to your program. You're not gonna be successful and see results. Are you gonna feed yourself complete garbage and have this unhealthy outlook where you just want to binge eat and overeat because you fasted all day? That's not attainable. It's not healthy and it's not good for you. Nor is it good for you to be restricting your calories to a dangerous deficit, also leading you to binging. That's the key here. These two things are completely connected. Whether you start on the binge or you start on the obsessive side where you're counting more calories and being in a strict deficit, if you continue to do that while intermittent fasting, it will drain your willpower and lead you to binge. Willpower is absolutely everything, guys. There is not a never-ending supply of willpower. You will run out of it. So the key here, guys, is to fall directly in between the two. Allow yourself to enjoy the things that you want to enjoy when making room in your daily macros and daily calories, which allows you to enjoy the foods that you want and does not drain your willpower and drain your mental state towards food, towards your diet, towards your fitness that you're working so hard to achieve. I've said it in other videos, guys, but food is fuel. You're not a fucking dog. You don't need a treat. 
The minute you realize that your food is your fuel and what you're putting in your body is what powers you through the day is when everything will change. So the answer is simple, guys. You need to take the middle road, the middle path. You do not want to binge eat, get to the point where you have an unhealthy relationship with food, nor do you wanna restrict yourself to the point where you do not enjoy how flexible intermittent fasting is and how amazing of a diet tool it really can be. You need to learn that you can partake in all of the things that you enjoy to a moderate level. And with that in mind, that is the key to intermittent fasting, creating a new lifestyle and seeing benefits for years down the line. I hope you enjoyed this video guys and I hope it really resonates with you. Whether you've been intermittent fasting for a week, a year, two years, five years, I really hope what I'm saying makes sense. Whether you're on one side or the other, I hope that you see that there's a middle ground that you can take that will allow you to see successful results and lifestyle changes for years to come. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. At Curran Blevins on Instagram right here. Make sure you follow me. I also release a brand new video every single week on YouTube, so smash the subscribe button down below. If you wanna watch more intermittent fasting videos, click above my head up here for the intermittent fasting playlist. Over here is the button to subscribe, and down here is more videos from 2018 Family Fitness Fun. Until next time, guys, have a good night.